Hi everyone, this is Debbie again with another little video tutorial. One of the members on the Silhouette Plus forum wanted to make a personalized cupcake wrapper and um, she wasn't sure how to go about it so I made her one and then I thought it would be nice to post a tutorial on how I did this. First of all, I just selected a cupcake wrapper that I already had and then I took a circle, I went around it like this then I double click on the circle to bring up the editing mode and I just started like clicking here bring it in to make the shape then I click another one here bring that in and when you do this you'll want to you know um, zoom in on it with your zoom tool the area like you can go like this and just zoom right there and it gives you a better so you can see exactly where you're placing it. And then um, I went over to this and make that flat. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Get that right there. Move that out just a bit. And now I'm going to zoom back out. And we'll fit to window again. So I can just continue to show you how I went about doing this. And I just kept on, and you can you turn these little bars here to make it angle down more. I can go in here. I can bring that down. And as you can see, I'll have a little corner there, so I'm going to make that flat. And I just keep on just clicking on these little nodes to, to make the shape. And as I said, you'll want to zoom on this so you get a, a perfect one. But I'm just doing this very quickly just to show you how to go about making your own cupcake wrapper. And I'm going to make that flat. I'm going to bring this down over here. Click in here so I can bring that down. And then once I get it in the area I want, I can go make flat. And then I'll click right here to bring this out this way. Then I want to bring this up. And right here you probably want to click and make a curve. So you can curve it into here. Curve this into here. And it's just basically clicking where you want nodes and you want to where you want to move them. And remember these little arms can adjust so you can bring it even closer. And then right here, I'll probably go to make flat again. So I can just bring this up around this little corner here. And like I said, I'm not making this one perfect. I'm not zooming in on every little detail. But for a keeper, I would. And once you make this, go ahead and save it as, you know, like something like cupcake wrapper, you know, uh, blank or something like that. So you know that if you want to go in and personalize a cupcake wrapper, you always have this to start out with. Okay, so this is not going to be perfect, as you can see, and I would definitely go in and tweak this, you know, more. Uh, moving these little nodes around and make this curve and bring it up and then probably move this back over to check it out again. But this gives you the basis of how to get started with making one of these. So anyway, we'll just delete that out because since I've already made this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then, now that I've made one, I want to control and click, drag it, and duplicate it. And we'll set this one off to the side for now. So I'll just set it over there. Now to personalize it we want to go in and grab our type tool and I already had it set to 48 points, 72 was too big and I did the character spacing at 150. Um, we'll go ahead and tap in. Um, I put cap locks on and I use Cooper Black here my font happy birthday um, and we'll do Ella again 
Okay, now you see this toggle here. It's got the little crosshair marks and it's in a black circle. And as you can see, all of my font is like in this green box. This shows me that it's in the mode where I can drag it and place it right here. And I just kind of move it around till I get it the placement exactly where I want it. And that looks good. So now that I've got this done, I want to click here. I want to right click, release compound path. And I can delete this, this portion out because we don't need that any longer. And now I'm going to group this here by just dragging my cursor around it, right click again, make compound path, and then right here is where we want to take a really good look at how we're placing this. We want all of the letters, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay. We want all of the letters to go over the cupcake wrapper, the blank cupcake wrapper portion, so it'll weld nicely. So I'm going to have to just maybe arrow this, use my arrow keys to move that in towards the bottom. It's a little too much at the top still, so I might move that up just a tad. Make sure I have all my letters in place. Make sure they're all inside the area. Um, let me look at that B a little bit closer. So I'm going to zoom in on the B to see if it's crossing the line there. It is. So we'll go back to our regular page view. Now I have these. I'm going to drag my cursor around both of them to make sure that the cupcake wrapper and the words are selected. And then you just go down to the bottom and hit weld. Okay, and now if you want to um, make some little pieces like these stars to go in there, I'll give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and remove the color. And then, okay, and then I'm going to release the compound path. And I'm going to try and just drag my cursor around a bunch of these stars. And then I'm going to control click, move these stars down here. And as you can see, I grabbed a little bit extra, but that's okay. We can go ahead and get rid of those. By dragging the cursor, I'll delete those out. You can go ahead and you can group the stars together. Oh, I see a couple more places I need to get rid of. Right up here at the top, so I'll delete those out. And I'm going to drag my cursor around my stars again. Oh, but there again, I see another area I brought over that I need to delete out. So I'll just delete that. And if you can't get them all by dragging around, it's still really easier to just drag it around as many as you can. And you can always go back and hold down your shift key and click on the elements that you want grouped together. So I'm going to go ahead and group those. And I'm just going to go ahead and group all these together so I can move that out of the way. And now that they're grouped, this is grouped. I'm going to drag my cursor around there, right click, make compound path, and uh, when you do that, you can, oops, we know what, we're going to undo that. Hold on, because I see another little place I missed. Right there. Let's see, right click, release compound path because I didn't get rid of that little spot right there. So I delete that out. Then, again, right click, make compound path. And now you can see what it looks like. We'll fill it with some color. We'll fill it with that hot pink again. And, oh, and see, when you do that, it's easy to see the things that you missed. So we're going to take away the fill color. We're going to, again, release compound path. I'm going to get rid of that little dot right there that I missed. And again, make compound path. And now we can fill it with color so we can see what it looks like. 
and also to get a picture image of it. And there you go. There's a cupcake wrapper that's all personalized for the special person in your life. Oh, and remember, when you're doing these fonts, I'm going to go ahead and undo a bunch of this here so we can get back to our basics. So that's a bunch of clicking. So I want to show you something about your fonts when you're doing something like this. So we'll just go back to where we started. And like I said, it takes a whole bunch of unclicking. I know this is kind of boring while you're waiting for me to do this. So say you had a longer name, um, we'll do uh, Jennifer. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to delete this out. I'm going to take this, control click, duplicate it again. And we're going to show you how it, double click on that to bring that toggle back up. And now if I go to put Happy Birthday Jennifer here, you see how it goes all the way around the bottom? So what we need to do is do the character spacing again so it all fits across the top. And there we go. There's our one for, the, for our longer names. And remember, you can care, you can do more character spacing on it if you want it even a little bit closer. But once you start getting too close, it looks a little messy. So there we go. And again, we're going to right click, release compound path. We can go ahead and delete this one out. And so I save this because I haven't saved it yet. I'm going to control click, bring this over here, and again with the longer name, it's a little bit more adjusting. You kind of have to look really close, so you don't want to cut off your letters. And once again, you can zoom in. just to see where everything's going. So I'm going to zoom in, drag this around this area, and I think all of the letters are, from what I can see, are there. So now I know that I can weld these together. So I select them both. Once again, I'm going to click Weld. Oh, so you know what I forgot to do? Very important. We're going to hit that undo button. Okay, remember, we want to make these a compound path. So select them all. Make compound path. Hit your control button. Cl click and drag over here. Bring this up just a tad bit again. Okay, we'll zoom in a little bit, see what we have here. Don't want too much of the letters in, not and also don't want not enough. So up here towards the top. A little bit more is in there than I want. So let's see if we move it this way. Got to get that part in there. I'm going to zoom in here at the bottom so I can see what's going on. And as you can see, I don't have the letters crossing the cupcake liner, so I'm going to have to move this in.
Now I have to fit to window again so I can see how much of the other letters, and I have too much of those. This can be a little uh, time consuming, but to get a personalized cupcake wrapper, it's worth the time. And I may even have to angle this just a tad. Okay, zoom in again. It's this area right here I'm just not sure about. Nope, that looks good. Oh, except for that E. Nope, there's enough there. Okay, so we'll fit to window and we'll try this out. So I'm going to drag my cursor to make sure both are selected. I'm going to hit that weld button. And to see what we have here, I'm going to go ahead and fill it with some color again. We'll make this one a dark blue. And that looks pretty good. So that's how you make a personalized cupcake wrapper. I hope this tutorial has helped. Um, if I get the time, I might go ahead and post this right here on my blog along with the video um, so you can just grab this one in case you want to make your own personalized cupcake wrappers without having to go through actually um, making the cupcake the blank cupcake wrapper okay well have a great day I hope this video tutorial has helped if you ever have any questions you can visit my blog and email me bye now